What's going on guys? My name is Nathan and I'm a college student who is majoring in filmmaking and for this channel I used to make all my videos with just my iPhone and a camera stand. However, as I said, since I'm studying filmmaking, the quality of these videos that I make here and for the projects I have for school drastically needed to increase and thanks to that I had to find a budget friendly high quality shooting system that would allow me to easily film videos by myself without breaking the bank as I am in college so naturally I am broke. So in this video I'll be showing you guys how I made a budget friendly 4k camera shooting system. So as I just mentioned, I was looking for a system that would allow me to shoot really high quality video without needing a whole crew to set it up, but also remaining budget friendly. Now, these three things usually don't go together and they can be very challenging to uh, create and navigating the world of camera systems. I discovered is not the easiest thing in the world as there is a million different brands and everyone has an opinion on each brand so it can be very challenging to find something and actually feel good about your investment as sometimes in the past when i would buy different pieces of camera gear i would feel like i get ripped off because i would read something else and how the thing i bought was actually inferior to this other thing that was cheaper so it just got to a certain point where i think i found a nice balance to creating the system that I created here. And speaking of which, the camera itself is the Sony A7 Mark III. I actually already had this camera for a few months and this is obviously going to be the most expensive piece of this setup. But fortunately, you can probably find one of these on eBay for less than $1,000. And if you do, that is an absolute steal and I would absolutely recommend investing in one. And to record video onto this camera, I'm using the SanDisk Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte uh, SD card that only came in around $30. And so far, I've had zero problems with it. After I make a couple videos, I always wipe it and I've never had it uh, not be enough storage. 128 gigs seems perfect. Obviously, more storage would be nice as I wouldn't have to worry about running out of space, but like I said, because I'm on a budget, it works great. Next, the gimbal I'm sure all of you have noticed by now is the Weeble S from a Chinese company that I don't want to butcher the name, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. And so far, this gimbal has been in a really amazing system that's allowed me to shoot high quality video with ease. As all I have to do is hold down the power button and it'll allow me to switch between first person view and just holding the camera still in one perspective with absolute ease. And overall, I'm really happy with it, especially considering it comes in at only 339 US dollars. And that monitor you all probably noticed that is connected to the gimbal is actually not a part of the gimbal. You have to buy it separately. The little mount that's holding it on there is the small rig mount that comes in around 30 us dollars and it does a really great job of connecting to the webill gimbal and the external monitor that i have as it's all universal mounts and i'm really happy that i invested in the webill uh, gimbal once again because connecting this monitor mount was really easy and finding the piece was not hard as it has a pretty universal mounting system the monitor itself is the fuel world seven inch uh 4k monitor that is not 4k when you look at it it is 1920 by 1200 and i just recently invested in it so i can't give a full review on it but so far i'm really happy with it especially considering it comes in at only 160 dollars which is a really solid deal for a seven inch external field monitor and to power the monitor i have the power extra sony mpf 970 uh, battery two pack that is really nice as it's budget friendly and it keeps my monitor powered for hours on end they charge really fast and they come with a very nice external charger overall i'm super happy with this investment so this whole setup allows me to film talking headshots like the one you're watching right now of myself with relative ease as all i have to do is plug the monitor into my camera make sure my camera gimbal and the batteries for the monitor are all charged and i can easily make a relatively high quality uh, shot of myself with ease but what's really nice about this setup is filming b-roll in my dorm as all i have to do is pull out this little uh, gimbal the camera and the monitor like i mentioned and i am ready to film some really nice looking uh, b-roll whereas i used to have to have a camera stand and i would have to reshoot different shots because my arm jumped a little bit or i messed with things but thanks to this gimbal's ability to have a little joystick that controls it I can get really nice pretty looking b-shot roll without having to uh, refilm or take up a ton of space with the camera stand that's not to say I don't use a camera stand to film some b-roll I still do but it's nice to have this option in a tiny little dorm like the one I live in and obviously the camera here is the most expensive component it's more so everything that's built around it that I really wanted to show off if you can get a Sony a7 mark 3 
absolutely do it. But if you need to go with something a little cheaper, I would still recommend and in investing in the other components I have here as I'm super happy with it and it's functioned amazingly. Although some of you may be a little skeptical as everything I've shown here so far, aside from the camera and SD card are kind of an off brand of some kind in some way, shape or form. But again, so far they've worked great and I am happy with the investment. And that's one of the risks I just had to take being on a tight budget. So in conclusion, while there's a million different setups you can make with all the different really Lego components that is creating a camera setup, the one I have here works perfectly for me. It's budget friendly and I'm just really happy with the investment. So I thought I would share it with you guys and I would love to hear any uh, tips on how I could improve it with a budget friendly cost in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and please do consider subscribing as only 2% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. And as a small content creator like myself, any and all support really does help.